Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, yesterday, July 26th, Windows 11 22H2 add its bug fixing updates as a uh, preview update that was released. And of course, uh, that came as the uh, update KB 5028254. Now, some of you that use third party um, software to change the interface. So if you're using um, anything from like uh, any, from Stardock to uh, Start 11 to change the way that the Windows uh, taskbar and the Windows interface is all about, might have noticed uh, that your computer doesn't start well, that you can't get to the desktop. So, of course, uh, this is interesting because it is a known issue that happened since yesterday. And uh, Microsoft has said that the update 502K, uh, 502.82.54 for Windows 11 22H2 does break third-party UI changers. Uh, one of them, uh, Explorer Patcher, if you use that in Windows 10, uh, it works fine, but... In Windows 11, 22H2 with the update, um, you have a problem where the uh, actually you can't get to the desktop, nothing appears. So what Microsoft is saying is if you're using a third party software like Start11, like um, you know Explorer Patcher, to remove it before you update to 502.82.54, um, as they say, it's not a Windows bug. It's changes that they made to the software, to the operating system, that means that the third-party software makers will have to actually fix the problem. So it's not Windows that's a problem. It's using third-party software. They will need to adapt and change it so that it works well. Which also means if you haven't installed it now and you decide to install it, uh, well, it, it will be installed with Patch Tuesday security updates, be warned that if you're using a third-party UI changer, once again, like Explorer Patcher, Start11, and so on, that you might not be able to get to the desktop. So it'll be wise to uninstall that before you install the security updates next month if, of course, the companies didn't update their uh, third-party software. If updates arrive, that's fine. So uh, this is one thing that Microsoft says. If you're stuck with not getting to the desktop, uh, as they say, you will have, what they say is you'll have to contact the maker of the, the software, uh, the third party software, as Microsoft says, has nothing to do with what they're doing. So um, if you have that problem, it's uh, possibly third party software that's blocking your access to the, uh, to the desktop. So uh, that's only Windows 11, 22H2, all the other um, operating system, Windows 10 with the updates, Windows 11, 21H2 is fine. It seems to be really Windows 11, 22H2 only. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.